Hi everybody, welcome to my uh, third video in a series of in a series about the chromatic harmonica. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to play um, the chromatic harmonica. This is going to be in two parts. Um, the first part is how to use your mouth, and the second part is how to use your breath to actually produce a sound. So there's two parts to play technique. First of all, we're going to talk about how to use your mouth. With many wind instruments, it's quite important um, to have the right mouth position um, to play, like for instance a clarinet, an oboe or anything like that, a reed instrument or even a, a, uh, even a brass instrument. You have to have your mouth in the right position to produce a sound. It's a similar issue with the chromatic harmonica. So first of all, we're going to find out how to use your mouth. Now, in this video, I'm going to discuss three techniques. Two of these techniques are good. And a good harmonica player uses a mixture of the first those two techniques. And then slightly at the end of it, I'm going to discuss a technique that is used very often that I do not want you to use. And I'll also explain why. So the first thing is, if you look at the chromatic harmonica, basically the way it works is a bit, you can compare it a bit to a pan flute. So you've got all your holes in the harmonica here, and the way the further up you go of the harmonica, the higher the notes get, which is pretty much the same as what you get with a pan pipe, pan flute, whatever you want to call it. The only difference is, on a pan pipe, you obviously, it's like blowing at the top of a bottle, like that. And with the harmonica, you put the mouthpiece. This is called a mouthpiece with the holes in. That's the piece that you put in your mouth. So, again, the higher you go up, the higher the notes. Um, the harmonica can be played by left-handed and right-handed. doesn't matter. You can actually switch it around and you play from left, from right to left. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to explain it. What most people use it is I am right-handed, so I'm using the left hand side of the harmonica with the lowest note and then it goes up to the highest. Whichever way you want to use it is fine. You can use the button with your left hand so you can switch the video. It doesn't matter. Harmonica can be played either way. So the first thing in and again the notes are going up in the different holes. The first thing to do to realize is that you have to keep, keep your head still and move the harmonica to get the different notes. Sounds quite obvious, but you'd be surprised how many people don't do this and actually start to reach the holes with don't. Please try to keep your head still and move the harmonica. So, again, like I explained, there's two techniques. The first technique is called puckering. What you do is you make the hole in your mouth very small so that your mouth fits onto one hole on the chromatic harmonica. That's called puckering. It is a bit like as if you're whistling. <whistles> so you make your hole in your, to in your lips very small, so it just fits over one hole on the chromatic harmonica. As if you're whistling. If you can't whistle or you don't understand what I mean, try to imagine that you're breathing through a straw. You've got a straw in your mouth. Very small. Keep your lips very relaxed. Don't put any, any pressure or anything like that. Keep your as if you're whistling. Very relaxed. So that's the first technique. Perfect technique. Nothing wrong with that and it's absolutely fine and this technique will also enable you to do other things for instance use your tongue um, for instance if you have to play a series of fast notes it's in all the wind instruments this is called double tonguing triple tonguing whatever they call it so if you pucker this is puckering you put your mouth on one hole at the, on the harmonica at one go you pucker, then you can do things like that. A 
etc etc and so you need to learn, sort of learn how to move it around and again keep your head still and move the harmonica the second technique that i'm going to discuss here and explain is called tongue blocking now this is a very strange technique if you're new to the harmonica this might sound really strange but it gives you a lot of benefits and that is called tongue blocking what you do basically is instead of doing one hole at a time you keep your mouth relaxed in a normal talking position like this and you put your mouth on the harmonica and you take about three holes at the same time so instead of whistling or blowing through a straw you keep your mouth really relaxed as if you're normal in talking position and you put your mouth on the harmonica or you put your harmonica in your mouth covering three holes at the same time now if you've got a 16 hole let's do holes five six and seven if you've got a 12 hole try holes one two and three at the same time and you get this you hear three notes at the same time because you're blowing three holes at the same time and then what you do next is you put your tongue forward in the corner of your mouth and you put your tongue on the left hand side on the harmonica on the mouthpiece so like that yeah so the two holes on this side are blocked by your tongue and basically you play through the little hole left on the on one side of your mouth try and repeat this video if you don't understand what i mean watch this again pause it watch it again this is something that is more difficult to do but it's a perfect technique so holes one two and three or five six and seven depending on the size of your harmonica so you put your tongue forward and the tip of your tongue blocks the two holes on the left hand side of your mouth right this is called tongue blocking so you can also do and again you do the same thing as with puckering you can play melodies everywhere Again, move the harmonica with your mouth because if you want a different note you need to move the harmonica to the right hole on the, harmon on the harmonica so you need to move the harmonica to the right position for your mouth yep yeah. what is the benefit of tongue blocking because a lot of people argue with this um, you know why would you play three holes and then block two why not just use one hole the, t the tip of your tongue is very sensitive got a lot of nerve ends as we all know and the harmonica is usually played by what's called muscle memory if you play the harmonica your the tip of your tongue feels and tells you where you are on the harmonica and especially if you've got a large chromatic this is a 16 hole it really helps because the tip of your tongue will tell you where you are and tell you how far to move the harmonica to get to the next note so the tip of your tongue is actually your navigator on the harmonica tells you where you are without thinking it just happens automatically this is something that we humans are excellent at is muscle memory um, so that's the benefit of tongue blocking navigation but also tongue blocking allows you to use other things like for instance using um, using two notes at the same time in harmony so instead of the corner tongue of your, in one corner of your mouth you put your tongue in the middle and you play notes on either side of the tongue so tongue blocking enables you to do more like for instance this is uh, you know playing two notes in harmony So your tongue's in the middle, 
and then you play a note on either side of your tongue so and you can skip a note in the middle that's an also a benefit of tongue blocking another thing of tongue blocking and there's not many people who know this um, Robert Bonfilio is a specialist in this kind of playing technique um, it's called corner switching Again, this is something for a later stage if you really want to take this harmonica, playing the harmonica a, bit, a lot further and get to the next level. But what corner switching basically means is you flick your tongue from one end to the other. So if you put your tongue on the left, play a note on the right, or you, then you flick your, note, your tongue to the right and play a note on the left. And this enables you to skip notes very quickly without moving your mouth. I can't do this, I'm, I'm not very good at this, but you get the idea, so if you if you specialise in that, that takes a lot of time. But again, you can only do this later on if you can do tongue blocking. If you can't do tongue blocking now, then you won't be able to do corner switching later on. So, two techniques, puckering, one, note at, one hole at a time, or tongue blocking, three, notes, three holes at a time, and then you block two of those holes. Can be on either side of your mouth, you, if you play it this way or that way, it doesn't matter. Um, so your tongue blocks two holes and you play one hole on the side of your, on your tongue. Again, I've already briefly explained, puckering has its advantages and disadvantages. Um, so for instance, you can do quick notes, you can use your tongue for other things uh, while you're puckering. With um, a tongue blocking, you, you, your tongue is already in use, so you can't do things like taka -ta -taka -ta -taka -ta, double tonguing or anything like that. Um, but you can do other things like playing harmony. That is why a good player uses both techniques. Tongue blocking when you can and puckering when it's, when it's suitable, when you have to do something that you can only do with puckering or any, anything like that. So two techniques, puckering, tongue blocking, they are perfect. Either way, whichever way you do it, that's how you play this chromatic harmonica. If you can, and I can't stress this enough, try to get your head around tongue blocking. There's lots of players that can only pucker. Try to get your head around tongue blocking because it, it will enable you to get to a further level and enable you to do other things that you might not even think of just yet. So that's two techniques. Then I was going to mention a third technique. Um, quite a few new players that I know, or players that I know, use a technique that is called U-block. Now, I need to explain this because only the reason why is because I don't want you to use this. And I'll explain to you why. What it is, is basically a mixture of puckering and tongue blocking. Yeah. So you pucker because you can't tongue block, because you, you just can't you get your head around the, the idea of tongue blocking. But the advantage of tongue blocking, like I explained, is that your tongue tells you where you are on the harmonica. So then people come up with this sort of in the middle kind of technique. So what you do is play one hole at a time. So you pucker, but you put your tongue like that under, under one of the holes on the harmonica. So your tip of the tongue is in touch with the mouthpiece, but you don't block a hole off. It's called a U-block. I do not recommend this technique. Please do not and use this and try to avoid it. Why? And I'll explain to you why. Because if you use this, you sit there for three minutes blowing and just breathe like this. And you find, after a few minutes, there's a lot of saliva gathering on the tip of your tongue in that little, in that little scoop that you're making. So if you use U-block, automatically you spit a lot of saliva into your harmonica. So the harmonica gets really dirty. So if you do this, if you do U-block, you have to clean your harmonica regularly. Not that you have, don't have to clean it otherwise because we're going to get to that later in the stage. But like I said, it blocks the harmonica off and gets the harmonica really dirty inside, produces more saliva. So please don't use that. 
don't use u-block um, it also if you've got an harmonica with a wooden comb because this one is a plastic comb so i can just take this apart and clean it and the harmonica is clean as ever i can put it back together and carry on playing but if you've got one of those old um, harmonicas with a wooden comb, you can't clean it. Or even if, you know, some of the old harmonicas are put together by nails. So if you take them apart, if you take the harmonica apart, you can't clean it. And you can't put it back together again. So, new block not advisable. Especially not for new players. Please, don't do this. Um, because it gets your harmonica really dirty and you need a lot of cleaning to do and again we'll get to that later on in this in this, this video series but it doesn't have any benefits it doesn't give you u-block give, doesn't give you any benefits what also is a case is that if you use this technique sometimes the, the tip of your tongue will block a part of the hole off and I've known some people that use this technique u-block and certain notes on the harmonica will not play at all it's because you're blocking the airflow with the part of your tongue so it doesn't work again so just to summarize this um, two techniques that you can use which is puckering or tongue blocking like that yep and what i don't want you to use is you block so don't play like this there's, there's various other reasons as well that I'll go, go too far to explain here. So that's the first part of how to play the harmonica. This is how you use your mouth. In the next video, I'm going to explain also a playing technique, but it has nothing to do with your mouth. Uh, we're, I'm going to assume that you know these techniques now. So in the next video, I'm going to explain how to use your breath to play the harmonica. Thanks very much for watching and hopefully see you in the next video. Thank you.